Okay, attempt number, I'm not telling you because it's embarrassing. Um, I'm not reading the question, and when I do read the question, I'm not following through with what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so n is going to be an odd number. So you're going to put odd numbers into this formula here. Alex reckons when you put an odd number into this formula, the answer is going to be prime every time. Okay, so they're asking you to show is not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be that every time. So you're looking for different numbers. You sort of substitute different odd numbers into this formula, and you're going to come up with one that's not a prime number. When you've done that, you've showed that Alex is wrong. Do not agree with Alex. They're telling you he's wrong. So show he's wrong. So I'm going to put all different types of numbers, different types of odd numbers, into this formula. I'm going to start with n is one, and I'm going to substitute n is one into n squared plus four. So that's going to be one squared. 4, which is 1 squared is 1, and 4 is 5. That's prime number, so I've not done anything yet except confirm this thing. So n is 3. Right then, so n squared add 4, we're going to go with 3 squared add 4. 3 squared is 9, 9 and 4 is 13. Still not done it. Keep going. 9 equals 5. n equals 5, sorry. So n squared add 4, we're going to have 5 squared add 4, 5 squared is 25, 25 add 4 is 29, again that's a prime number so I still haven't done it, so keep going. n equals 7, n squared plus 4, again, 7 squared add 4, 7 squared is 49, 4 is 53, 53, so prime. N is 9. 9 squared add 4. 9 squared is 81. Add 4 is 85. Because it ends in a 5, I know it's divisible by 5. I know it works. So it's not a prime number. So I've showed that Alex is wrong because when I substitute 9 in, I get a number that's not prime. 